will know the inertia has decreased. If angular momentum is conserved, then what will happen to angular velocity if I decrease? Goes up. Goes up, yeah. I times omega needs to be equal to the same number, the angular momentum. So that's why when I decrease my moment of inertia, my angular velocity increases. Okay? And if I increase my moment of inertia, my angular velocity decreases to conserve the angular momentum. So angular momentum is, is fun because you can actually change the eye to see how omega changes. For momentum conservation, you can't really change the mass to something professor. But for angular momentum conservation, you can change the mass distribution to change your moment of inertia and change the angular velocity. Okay? Does anyone want to try? If you want to try it, um, you can do it later. Alright, so ice skater is a classic example for angular momentum conservation. They do that all the time, they start spinning, and then the ice is slippery, so there's no external torque. You can conserve your angular momentum. There are some other examples, like a cat. Cat can always stand on their feet, and they do that using angular momentum conservation. What you just saw is that if you initially have an angular momentum, then you can change your rotational speed with changing your mass distribution. But initially, if there's no angular momentum, then you can rotate something Alright, that's okay. Yeah, so if initially the cat was, is 40, 